Man, who we got in here today? I got Jamal, a special guest for y'all today now. Jamal Jenkins, man, aka Monster, aka Southside Mob, man. And where you coming from? Southside of what? I'm from the Southside of Gaucher, man. What year you were born? Uh, 95. Oh, you were 95, baby? Yeah, man. What was going on like when you came up? What was the household like? Uh, I came up uh, with my grandma and my granddaddy at first. Uh, they were really all I knew from the, from the beginning. Uh, my mom was in the military and shit, but I ain't really know that, you know what I mean? Uh, back then, I, I, I think my mama came back when I was around about, I was around about five. That's when I, that's when I first seen my mom, or remember first seeing my mom, around about five, but everything was cool. You know, we wasn't rich, but we wasn't hurting for nothing. My granddaddy was retired, retired from the uh, shipyard, you know what I mean? He was a pastor, you know? So I grew up in a real loving, God-fearing, God-fearing home. So, uh, so growing up with your grandparents, at what point did you just, did you start like, or uh, did you ever become like a problem child? Or, you know, because at some point you end up going to jail. So how did you end up on that trajectory? Uh, honestly, then why, when they watch this, they gonna be like, yeah, he ain't lying. I was honestly bad as hell. You know, I was just, I was, I was always in the shit. I was just always doing shit. I ain't really had no business doing. You know what I mean? You tell me not to, not to do that. I want to, I want to go do that because I want to see what happened if you do. You know what I mean? I'm one of them guys. You say don't press the red button. I'm finna press that motherfucker. I'm finna see what that bitch do. Back then, anyway, I ain't gonna do it now. So you don't tell you the stove high. You gonna put your hand? Yeah, on it. I put my hand on it. I put my hand on it, y'all. But uh, I didn't start getting into no serious trouble until I moved to uh, uh, DeSoto County. I was up there in uh, South Haven. I stayed in South Haven. After Hurricane Katrina, me and my mama and uh, my sister, we had went up to uh, South Haven, stayed up there. And who, uh, who was you hanging around up, up there in South Haven? Who was your running mate? Uh, back then, it, was, it, it really wasn't. It really wasn't too many guys, you know what I mean, that I was just hanging out with. The guys that I was actually hanging out with, they was green. They wasn't, you know what I mean, they wasn't nowhere near the streets, you know what I'm saying? But the niggas that I was goddamn, you know, in my situation with, them niggas was goddamn from Memphis. You know, it was a couple couple Crip guys, you know what I mean, a couple uh, uh, Vice Lord guys, you know what I'm saying? That's just, you know, what they what they were. You know, them were the guys I, I ended up getting in some bullshit with. Oh, you said South Haven. Oh, oh, oh that is up there right there by Memphis. Mm -hmm. They consider that Memphis, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they call it Memphis Sippy. They so do. Yeah, they call it Memphis Sippy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the situation that you're speaking on, uh, can you can you take us through that? Like, what's the situation that you're talking about? Yeah, so uh, I got I got locked up for uh, uh, armed robbery and uh, aggravated assault. And what age was this? Uh, when I caught the charge, I was 13. It was in 09. I'm 27 now, but they gave me 15 years, uh, 12 suspended, two to serve. I did that, and then I got out for probably like maybe like a year and and some change, like a year and three months, year and six months, something like that, and uh, got locked right back up. Did a five piece, right right on top of the two. So all together, I did sell. I stay out the way, catching plays, micro mini, AK flush the ops away. I pull up, drink and roll up things. Literally can't feel my face. Overlap the competition. I tell me who's there's left the race. I'm in Mississippi.